Good morning, Miss Sonia here from the Collier County Public Library Headquarters Branch. And today we're gonna make a special treat for mom because what is Sunday? Mom's day, right? Could be mom, could be grandmother, it could be uh, any caregiver uh, that you would like to share a treat with. This is a fun activity that you can do with your kids. It's low cost and they can get into the kitchen. My mom always let me get into the kitchen and we always loved it. So um, first of all that you will need, uh, this is actually just called easy cookie no bake recipe. Um, you will need 40 Nilla wafers. So if you have any leftover from the project we did last week, that will be perfect. I am um, for um, the sake of not uh, wasting materials, only going to do half of the recipe here, but I'm going to tell you the complete recipe. So you will need 40 Nilla wafers and put them in a bag. This is a fun counting activity for your kids. You can count out the wafers together and put them in the bag, so it's a good counting practice. If they can't count to 40, then you can count them by tens and do four sets of 10. Just lots of different fun ways that you can get the cookies into the bag. Uh, then the fun part for all the kids is the crushing of the cookies. Uh, obviously for 40, you'll need a larger bag, but you just start crushing cookies. And you can roll them and mash them and uh, take a spoon and mash them. Or if you have a rolling pin, they can use the rolling pin. If you don't have a rolling pin, a glass works just as well that you can roll back and forth. So just crush the cookies and crush the cookies until they're a pretty fine powder. And this may take just a few minutes to get them all crushed like that you want them. And uh, the consistency, like I said, will be sort of like a powder. But for time's sake, I'm just gonna go ahead and pour these into my bowl. Then you're gonna take a one uh, half cup of granulated sugar. Uh, again, I'm just using a fourth here just to show you. But you'll take a half a cup and you'll do uh, two tablespoons of very soft butter. Don't put it in the microwave and totally melt it. Just set it out so that it does get soft. So this is pretty soft. Put that in the bowl. And you can begin sort of mashing that together. Then you'll add two tablespoons of apple juice and one teaspoon of lemon. And you'll mash that all together. And this is where the fun begins because then uh, the kids can actually get their hands in it and mold it into a big ball. This is lots of fun. Very tactile activity for toddlers or for preschoolers. And this takes a few minutes, so I just wanna show you what the finished product will look like. The finished product will look like this. And you'll just let uh, the kids squeeze off a piece uh, and make about a one inch ball with their hands. And of course, there's aren't gonna be perfect round balls, but that's okay. It's a gift for mom, right? And roll it like this. This is a fun activity too. Roll, roll, roll. Until you have a nice round ball. There's my ball perfectly symmetrical but it's okay and you'll take a, a little bit of powdered sugar put it out onto a plate and then they'll roll the balls in the powdered sugar until they're fairly coated and it should look just like that okay so this right here will end up looking like this and then when you're finished, 
you'll uh, take a container that's lined with wax paper and you'll put the balls on the wax paper in the container, put it in the refrigerator for about an hour and then they'll be yummy and ready to eat as a nice little gift for moms or caregivers on her special day. Be sure and check out all of our e-resources on Cloud Library, Hoopla, and um, Overdrive. And check out all of our fun crafts and uh, recipes on Creative Bug. And have a great week. Happy Mother's Day. Bye.